Channel 9 in Toronto, Cable 8. Today on Ion Toronto, packing it in at K. Jamson, Canadian Safari Tours, top of the line cookware, and Gene Sisko watches over a precocious child. Beautiful awesome. day, and we've got a great show today. Oh. Some extraordinary guests. I, was, I can hardly wait for our first performers. But first, let us tell you about later on, coming up in the show, is Lewis Small Jr. He is going to be here for, well, he is here actually for the largest comic book convention at the Queen Elizabeth Place. That's right. We have a lot of three and grade three and four students with their teacher, Miss Duckworth, yes. uh, from St. Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> in Barbara Scarborough. School. So they skipped school today with their teacher, and they're right here on our show. <laughs> we right. also have our interesting guest, uh, Constable Jim Eady of the Ontario Provincial Police. He's giving a lecture at the Beta Shoe Museum a little bit later on. We'll tell you when. Uh, that's actually tonight. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be talking about impressions of feet at crime scenes and how they lead to the, the culprit. It's, it's got way beyond Sherlock Holmes. It's really scientific should be now, fascinating. so it should be very interesting. Well, Harborfront is where world theatre comes to life these days, and performers from 10 countries are at the centre until April 24th to star in the Du Maurier Limited World Stage. Well, this morning we're lucky enough to get a sample of what the festival has to offer. In fact, this group of performers comes all the way from the Ivory Coast. Please welcome Le Kim Mabok Theatre. Yeah! <laughs>
you. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Uh, we haven't seen each other since Victoria That's back right. in a few years ago. Oh, we you did, two we, did, we did Twelfth Night That's together right. uh, exactly. at the Bastion yeah. Theatre in Victoria. Uh. You're part of World Stage. I mean, these yes. people are so oh, exciting. What, what was that we were just seeing? This is what? the Kima Bach from the Ivory Coast, and it's a company of about 80 people, but uh, for the tour, they're around 25, and they do three different shows, and we call it the Village Experience. And what is World Stage exactly again? World it's... Stage is an international theater festival. Mm -hmm. It takes place at Harperfront Center and across the city. So when? It's, really, it's happening right now from the 8th through the 24th, so oh, you'll be able to catch goodness. the tail end of it. And there's Still tickets available, but their sales are really brisk. Okay. And we were saying 10 different countries, so you've yeah. actually gone to all these countries right. and brought back these groups. That's right, yeah. It's, well, it's quite a, an amazing thing. This company is just phenomenal. Well, it's such a marvelous contribution to the cultural uh, kind of life in our city. Yeah, to have exactly. All these oh, extraordinary absolutely. And to hear the stories from yeah. each community that exactly. they're bringing back. Exactly. I mean, this yeah. is a city, if any, in North America is pro perhaps the best for an international festival of this kind. So more and more, I think that Toronto will become the theater center of North America. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Again, Michael Luce, again. Artistic Thanks Director right, of the Maury Unlimited World Stage. Well, have you ever heard the mating carp of a harp seal? The mating call of a harp Ma seal? Uh, the mating <laughs> call. <laughs> I've heard the mating carp as well. It's interesting. Um, or have you watched polar bears playing on ice floes? <laughs> haven't. <laughs> well, don't think you have to rely, rely on National Geographic to see these spectacles of nature. You can see them for yourself. <laughs> Adventure Canada offers trips to the remotest parts of Canada. The Arctic, the Yukon, the Rockies, and coastal BC are just a few Adventure Canada destinations. Founder Matthew Swan believes the harder the spot to get to, the better it is. Usually we go to the blank places on the map and figure that they're the ones that are going to be of interest simply because there's going to be the fewest amount of people there. So for that reason, a lot of our trips are concentrated in the isolated parts of Canada. This trip was to Kuchimatin, a prime spot for grizzly bear viewing just north of Prince Rupert, BC. Well, we figure she's a, a young adult. Probably four or five. The groups are small, about eight to 12 people, led by an expert, someone who has studied the area and its wildlife intimately. For many, the trips are an excellent photo opportunity. For others, they're an escape from urban life, a chance to reconnect with nature. The main prerequisite, a sense of adventure. Generally speaking, the people that are interested in these sort of things, they're, they're, they tend to be uh, orientated towards the outdoors, natural history buffs, like they're interested in birds and wildlife and things of that nature. Uh, Fun-loving, they tend to be very eclectic, they have a wide range of interests, uh, they come from a variety of backgrounds. And uh, yes, they're not interested in inactivity when they go on holidays. Now while polar bear safaris in October to Churchill, Manitoba, and harp seal tours in March to the Magdalen Islands of Quebec are standard, Adventure Canada also organizes some pretty unusual trips. This one a few years ago was to the North Pole for a game of golf. At 25 degrees below zero and with a terrain that took some getting used to. No question, it was a challenging course for these avid golfers. Swan is currently working on an educational tour of the Greenlandic and Canadian Arctic coastlines set for August. Similar to a cruise he ran last year, this cruise is for a larger group with a resource team including wildlife artist Robert Bateman and ecologist David Suzuki. What you see in, in the wilderness, in the way of wildlife and natural areas, is fast disappearing. And I think that there's a sense that you better take this in now, because even in the space of a generation or two, this has changed dramatically. Adventure Canada offers a full range of programs. To find out more, call them at 416-533-0767 or 1-800-363-7566. See, Mary, you can really have a lot of fun on an ice floe. It's great. <laughs> I'll say Absolutely. adventure. Yeah. Actually, all seriously, I'd love to do oh, that. Oh, I would love to as well. Yeah. How about playing detective next? Okay, let's do that. All we'll right. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
I used to think that panty liner protection was a contradiction in terms. I mean, they're so small. Even the long ones are too narrow for my liking. Then I tried Always Plus panty liners. They cover more of my panty than regular liners. They have dry weave and nice wide wings for great panty protection at the sides. I love it. A liner sized and shaped to really protect. New Always Plus panty liners with wings. The cleaner, drier liners that really keep you covered. With the time and money you invest in a meal like this, take some time to consider the oil you're cooking it in. Chef Bert Wolf. Here's a good answer. Crisco. Crisco won't leave a heavy odor when frying. And it won't leave a heavy oily taste. Mmm. And see how much lighter Crisco looks compared to the leading low price brand. When you make what you love, make it with Crisco. I think it's worth it. Cooks who know trust Crisco. Searching for gold? Hit the mother load with Country Gold 94 from Quality Music. Headache relief is not enough. An effective pain reliever has to relieve fever, body pain, and headaches, and do it all fast. Aspirin does it all. The wonders of aspirin continue. You're listening to today's most requested Country Love Songs 94. Exclusively from Quality Music. If you only knew what the future had in store. <laughs> Never pick any carpet, but the ones made to take years of use without showing their age. DuPont approved carpet brands. Well, could have been twins. DuPont, why trust the future to anything less? Last year, thousands of Canadians were hospitalized after mixing medications. It's why at Shoppers Drug Mart, when we created our computerized health watch system, we weren't thinking about technical things like bites. We were thinking about Canadians, like Betsy, and how a health watch file of Betsy's medication history could help her pharmacist prevent adverse reactions and even save her life. Register for the health watch system only at Shoppers Drug Mart. Yes, welcome back. Well, according to our next guest, the value of footwear impressions left at the scene of the crime is immeasurable. He is Constable Jim Eady of the Ontario Provincial Police, and he works in the Technical Identification Services Unit out of Belleville. He is in Toronto today to give a lecture at the Batashu Museum. Please welcome Constable Jim Eady. Hi. Jim, nice Thanks for coming you. in, Jim. Glad to be here. Thank you brought um, some very interesting specimens here. They look like footprints. Yes, they do. <laughs> Jim, before we start, I have to ask a really silly question. It seems to me that uh, to try and detect a criminal uh, who leaves traces at a crime scene, you get a pair of shoes that probably hundreds or maybe thousands of people have bought the same pair of shoes in the same size. Yes. What makes a, a footprint unique? What, what makes a footprint unique is the, the fact that as you wear the shoe, that gross accidents occur to the bottom of the shoe. In other words, you step on things that tear a piece of the pattern out or rips and tears occur and wear occurs to the bottom of the shoe and obviously the more you wear the shoe then the more unique it becomes to you. So nobody wears it out in exactly the same way no, obviously. Not at all, no. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these. Sure. What you brought, yeah. Yes, this is a, uh, a cast mm -hmm. and uh, you, anybody who has went to Boy Scouts is probably familiar mm -hmm. with casting footprints mm -hmm. and that's where you want to study a footprint in this case in snow. Right. Uh, to, to have a look at it I have to pour something into the impression in the snow that's going to harden and then I can study the impression. In this case we use melted sulfur. So it's hard to believe. You wow. have to see it to believe it, but in, pour, we, in fact we pour hot melted sulfur into the snow and it instantly hardens in the snow. It, in Sherlock Holmes time, was it sort of plaster or something like that? Well, or? we use plaster too. Yeah. These, uh, this next uh, example here, mm -hmm. this is uh, a footprint in, that's been done with plaster and this is uh, normally used uh, when you're dealing with footprints in mud. Mm -hmm. And obviously it was in snow and mud, you want to see the bottom of the pattern, that's the part that's actually touching the road. And to mm -hmm. study that, you can't see the bottom of the hole in the, in the mud footprint, so you have to pour something in there right. to study And there it. would actually be certain things that are um, unique to yes. that shoe, right? Exactly. The way it's been torn or stones yes. that have been caught in the that's little right. wedges. Yeah. Yes. Now, supposing you don't have mud, you don't have sand, you don't have snow, you've got something like concrete at a crime scene. Is there any value or do you see anything, any traces of a footprint in concrete? Well, sometimes you can. Obviously, there's no magic 
to this. Um, uh, but my job is to recognize the potential of, of footprints because oftentimes they are invisible. Footprints on mm -hmm. floors or on pieces of paper are, are invisible and have to be developed. So it's my job to recognize the potential. Of well, that, that, actually, that makes me wonder with today's technology, I mean, is it possible in the cases you've seen for a criminal to leave without a trace? I mean, is that possible without a trace? Well, uh, of course, our fundamental principle is that no matter what you do and where you go, you always leave some trace of yourself behind. Mm -hmm. And I guess because we're dealing in, in, in this type of science, or any science for that matter, really is crude science. Yeah. And, but what uh, trace would they leave in? You say they, well, what, what they, would they leave? If, uh, for example, you don't find footprints, you may find no fingerprints. fingerprints. Well, let's say no fingerprints. Yes. What, what could they You may leave? have dropped hair. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, you may have dropped yeah. uh, fibers uh, from your clothing. Mm -hmm. uh, has the te you're talking about sort of still limited technology in most of these detection areas. Uh, do you uh, think that there's been much progress in, in the art of, uh, of foot impression detection over the last, say, couple of decades? Yes, because I think primarily materials, better materials, and for example, we're using dental materials, and uh, there's uh, evolution of dental materials is ongoing. A lot of materials we use come from the space industry, mm -hmm. so they're very new uh, type uh, products. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me get back just to this because yes. it's a great, you told me this was your most fascinating case. Well, it was well, an interesting case, yeah. yeah. Wh why? why? Well, was this, this, this was a robbery investigation and uh, subsequent to finding these footprints at the crime scene, uh, uh, suspects were identified and uh, so we were interested in getting uh, the suspect's shoe. So upon his arrest, uh, uh, a number of shoes, shoes were confiscated from his home, but unfortunately none that uh, looked like this, so I was quite disappointed. But in the suspect's pocket was a receipt from a mall in, uh, in the Ottawa area, right. which is 150 miles from Belleville. We drove to the mall. We found a, a shoe store where, in fact, the uh, suspect had purchased a pair of shoes the day after the robbery. And Thinking the that he might have left a footprint. I think so. Yeah. And he had left his pair of shoes there. And so the uh, employee at the shoe store said, would you like the shoes? And he said, yes. <laughs> he said, we still have them here. So Aww. this guy's mistake was to not to take his shoes and, and trash right. them. Well, my job, of course, is to capitalize on their mistakes. That's how we catch people. Yeah. Okay, supposing it's a marble floor, the suspect is wearing snowshoes, <laughs> and he drops his dentures. How would you piece that together and make it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you've, been you've been playing Clue. I've been playing That's Clue, the problem. Yeah. Yeah. But I can imagine that no two cases are the same. There's very complicated uh, clues left, and you have to be kind of creative in your field. That's exactly we, it. We thank you for yeah, dropping in today. It was fascinating. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And you're at uh, the Beta Museum tonight. Right, giving tonight, a lecture. Giving a lecture. It's at 6 p.m. Well, look forward to that. Hope it all goes well, and thank you for dropping thank in. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jeff, for coming thank in. You. Well, now, Gene Driscoll takes a look at Martin Short and Charles Grodin's new film, Clifford. Now, Siskel and Ebert. Clifford is simply one of the worst films of the new year, a completely annoying kids' comedy about an aggravating little boy played by the very adult and unhappy-looking Martin Short, who wants to visit a dinosaur amusement park in the worst way. Left in the care of his uncle Charles Grodin, who designed the park, the boy, Clifford, insists on visiting the park right now. Can you just act like a human boy for one minute here? Look at me like a person. You can't do it for more than a few seconds. Look at me like a human boy. Don't mess around with me. You're going to be back on that plane. He also tries to horn in on the relationship between his uncle and his uncle's girlfriend, Mary Steenburgen, looking and sounding very uncomfortable here, which is no surprise because she is used to working with a credible script. What are you talking about? Where is Clifford? Oh, don't worry about Clifford. He'll be happy if you, if you give him a ton of sugar and a book about Hitler. What's that supposed to mean? You will get tired of Clifford, the movie, and the boy very quickly. The kid is a jerk. It would be one thing to make this character smarter than everyone else and somehow more likable than everyone else, but that's not even done. This kid is just the equivalent of nails upon the blackboard, and we, like the boring adults in this film, want nothing to do with him. If that's not enough, the payoff action scenes in the dinosaur park, at the end of the picture, they're boring too. I'm Gene Siskel. He thinks it's boring. Yeah, no, not subtle, is he? Okay, it's time for the EOT viewer quiz. The first caller with the correct answer to today's quiz will win a Peugeot Peppermill, and you'll hear all about that a little later. Also, they'll win a pair of tickets to the old clothing show and sale. Our second winner will receive an entertainment package. It's a pair of tickets to the Heart of Mind Tour, starring Robert Morgan, as well as a double guest pass 
to the Travel and Leisure Show. Now here's today's question. Now mere minutes ago we talked to a member of the Ontario Provincial Police. What was the gentleman's name? That's the question for today. The prize line is uh, number is 8729000. Stay with us because we're going to be right back. Hey Alex. She's scared. She's chicken. I've got just the thing for chickens. The crest egg, like on TV. This egg has calcium, like the calcium in your teeth. One side's protected with crest. No toothpaste protected the other side. Can I touch it? Sure. Squishy. Now tap the crest side. Hard. <laughs> Aren't you glad you use crest? Crest locks in calcium to help lock out cavities. Look, Mom, no cavities. <laughs> Jose Chouinard, 1994 Canadian figure skating champion. My hair's dried to begin with, and skating makes it worse. I've tried some two-in-ones, but they just didn't give me enough conditioning. Hurt Plus brings you a two-in-one breakthrough. Extra conditioning for dry, damaged hair. It conditions twice. First, it conditions all over. Then it sends extra conditioning to damaged areas. So if you have dry hair and want it to be more manageable, try Hurt Plus Extra Conditioning. It's breakthrough care for dry, damaged hair. Golden Griddle's new $4.99 all-you-can-eat lunch buffet is the best value in town. Start with piping hot soup, your choice of four different salads. Create your own sandwich from a variety of baked breads, deli meats, and vegetable toppings. There's also two different and delicious hot items daily, plus a wide assortment of scrumptious dessert items to add the finishing touch. All for just $4.99. Golden Griddle's new $4.99 all-you-can-eat lunch buffet. It's not fast food, it's great food fast. Rock Wazim, live at Massey Hall. Rock Wazim, an international star not to be missed. Dynamic, powerful, Rock Wazim, live at Massey Hall, April 28th, 29th, and 30th. Tickets at all Ticketmaster outlets and Roy Thompson Hall box office. Rock Wazim, live at Massey Hall. Do the rock. Now you dip them, now you don't. McCain Golden Crisp, the best tasting fries to ever come out of your oven. Straight cut or cross tracks for crispy, tender potato perfection. Enjoy them alone or add your favorite topping. Now you dip them, now you don't. Cross tracks from McCain, lightly battered, crispy on the outside, tender and tasty on the inside. Now you dip them, now you don't. McCain Golden Crisp, snack time, meal time, anytime. The very best fries to ever come out of your oven. On Toronto, we have Terry O'Dell from Toronto on the line. Hello, Terry. Hi, Mary. Hi, how are you this morning? Just fine, thank you. Great. Can you name the member of the Ontario Provincial Police who talked to us earlier? Yes, it was Constable Jim Eady. You win. That's right. Correct. You. You've won a Peugeot pepper mill and a pair of tickets to the old clothing show on Sunday at Exhibition Place. And our second winner gets tickets to the Heart of Mind Tour at the Bathurst Street Theatre and a double guest pass to the Travel and Leisure Show this weekend at the International Centre. And for our audience, our lucky audience member, the, they're going to get a pair of tickets to the National Ballet of Canada's production of Sleeping Beauty at the O'Keeffe Centre on Friday, April 29th. And Yvonne De Silva will be going to see yes. Sleeping Beauty. Congratulations. Congratulations Yvonne. Well yes. Are you a ballet lover, Yvonne? No. Oh, you're not. <laughs> Okay, we'll take well, maybe, those tickets. Maybe you'll become one now. Okay. <laughs> we also have a gift pack of kitchen utensils courtesy of Swiss Mar Imports Limited. Tickets to the old clothing show and sale and travel and leisure show and the Heart of Mind Tour. Several pocket critters, keychains courtesy of Splash Distributors. And we'll draw for all of these prizes at the end of the show. And now that summer vacations are starting to be a hot topic again, EOT's Belinda Hansen decided to visit a luggage shop that will have you packed at a moment's notice. Sounds good? Packing has never been a great pastime of mine. I either pack too much or not enough. Well, at K. Jamson inside Fairview Mall, I not only learned how to make better use of my luggage space, but I was also given a few tips on what is essential. One suggestion I do have on packing is basically lightweight clothing, okay? Clothing that could more or less could be alternated with different uh, type of accessories, more convenient. What I do recommend is to keep things as staggered as possible. You're not going to worry about, for example, your shoulders, your shoulder pads getting uh, wrinkled or damaged. For one week, you can perhaps take up to two sweaters. 
A couple of shirts, make sure that they could be very easily clean. This is one handy product that uh, we could recommend. It's a blow dryer, ironed. We have it under $20. Quite a handy item to, to have on your regular travel. Other handy must-haves include nail clippers, money belts, shoe covers, and a combination strap lock. For overnight flights, you might want to pick up some eye shades and a pillow. Traveling overseas, you'll need one of these, an adapter set priced at $34.99. And you can protect your bag with an alarm that activates through touch. A great buy for only $10. Since Kay Jamson has been in the luggage business for almost 20 years, their selection runs the gamut. Names like Samsonite, American Tourister, and Samboro are standard here. And you'll also find the latest styles on the market, like the Travel Pro Compact Carry-On. We have two zippers in the front. The top zipper, it can hold airline ticket or boarding pass. And there's a slim pocket here. You can hold different magazines or catalogs. And at the back of this suitcase, there, there's another compartment here. And you can put a lot of documents, magazine, newspaper. And when you need more space, there's an expandable zipper compartment here. As for the inside, Joseph just returned from a four-day trip to the Bahamas, and here's what he packed. I hang two suits inside, two shirts, my pajamas, my jogging suit, utility bag, and socks, underwear, camera, binoculars, and even my Bibles inside the suitcase. If you're hesitant about buying a carry-on because you're not sure the bag will fit under the airplane seat, Check it for yourself at K. Jamson. And if you need more space, there are expandable versions of luggages and briefcases. To see more, visit K. Jamson. There are 12 locations. For one near you, call 661-9020. Okay, Robin, you probably recognize this as being a pepper mill, right? I knew, I knew that, yeah. Okay, but what do you think this is? Is that a paperweight? No. Is that a curling rock for small people? <laughs> That's interesting, but no, no. We'll, we'll have the answer uh, right now for you. Okay, well, what is the answer? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay. we'll, we'll tell you. <laughs> Swiss Mars, a Canadian company that imports top-of-the-line housewares that have achieved worldwide recognition for both design and function. Their showroom has a large selection of copper as well as stainless steel cookware, kitchen knives, and a wide selection of well-designed, inexpensive gadgets. Have you ever had to wrestle with a bottle of wine to uncork it? Claude Casaera, an authority on opening wine, says that with the tools available today, opening your favorite grape is a cinch. Uh, this one here is one of the, the best, the Rolls Royce or Cadillac of the openers. It's a portable model, even though we have some which are fixed models, which do as good a job. But you do this very, very simply, very, very lightly, without checking the bottle, without any effort, and it opens it perfectly every time. Uh, this here retails for 220 but of course you can start at about $12 and then go up. The most popular ones are about $30, $40 in that quality bracket. Swissmar carries a complete line of Peugeot pepper mills. Because of the design and craftsmanship involved in producing these pepper mills, they're considered to be, by many, the top of the line. The president of Swissmar, Daniel Owe, demonstrated a simple salt shaker that is both functional and fun to use. It's a hollow, um, donut-shaped, piece of stoneware which has like a funnel underneath so to fill it all you do is you pour the salt in here it goes in very quickly and once you turn it over the salt can't come out but for dispensing all you do is you have a fast up and down action which will dispense it evenly over your plate or in the it's great also for cooking on the stove because you do it with one hand you set it down and no salt falls out. The salt rock retails for about $20. The Wenger Swiss Army knife has been supplied to Swiss forces since 1908. Since every adult male in Switzerland is either a soldier or reservist in the country's army, everyone has one of the knives. There are 300 different models produced. Swissmar imports 160 of these. 
Paul Kakonen is the Swissmar expert on the knives. The one I'm holding in my hand, it's called the Tool Chest Plus, and it's the world's largest Swiss Army knife. It has 17 tools with 33 functions. And it's actually the most expensive one as well. It retails for 135. Wenger really goes out and caters to different individuals, and they've, they've gone to the sports market. The golfer will have a divot repair tool. They'll have a groove cleaner for the main club, and as well, they'll have a spike tightener for your shoes. There's also a skier's knife, which will have a metal file for the side of your skis, as well as a wax scraper. We also have a fisherman's knife, which has a diamond edge hook sharpener to it for the fanatic. For information on where to buy Swissmar products, call 905-764-1121. Boy, cookies have arrived, Cookies, huh? cookies, Gee, and more cookies. These are from uh, Christy Brown and Company, and they're called Snack Wells. And uh, these are new cookies, and they have half the fat of um, the regular sandwich yeah, cookies. Yeah, low-fat mm -hmm. cookies. They look absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah, and, they are. Uh, we have some grades three and four students from St. Barbara's Maybe School. We should, uh, get them Anybody to want some. a cookie? <laughs> Oh, man, okay, catch, guys. Here, I'm going to throw some cookies. Here, pass them down. You can open them up and yeah, pass them yeah, around. Open them up, pass them down. Man, there's a mini riot going on here. Here you go, here you go. Grab some cookies Are these here. kids fed at home? Oh, <laughs> boy, have some cookies. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, they're available in um, vanilla cream sandwich, uh, velvety chocolate, and actually, I've got to tell you a bit of cookie trivia. Yeah. Archaeologists estimate that people first began baking cookies from crushed wheat and water back in 6,000 BC. Really? Yes. I have no idea. Yes. Uh, boy, when St. Barbara's gets into a feeding frenzy, you better watch out. I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> don't, it's don't ugly. Don't say food fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're hungry. They've been sitting here for a long time. and They've had no snacks, so it's snack time. Make sure Miss Duckworth gets one, too, okay? Miss Duckworth's got her own package. Her own package, yeah. I guess that's if you're a teacher, you get a whole package. Oh, yeah. That's great. Miss Duckworth takes care of number one. I've Absolutely. That, you know? I would say so. <laughs> Well, it's uh, another weekend coming up. This is the first weekend in a couple of, well, in probably a month or so that I haven't been going away for the weekend. Yeah, you've been really busy, haven't you? Yeah. Junkets every weekend, yeah. working. So I think I'm going to go up to the cottage this weekend and just make sure it hasn't fallen into the lake over the winter, you know, slid down the hill. And What, what, do, you, what do you like to do at the cottage? Basically, I like to read and do very, very little. Go out in the canoe, uh, try and oh, sort nice. of buzz loons and that kind of thing in my canoe. And then... well, actually, we don't have a cottage, so I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's guest who will be in to tell us how to rent the perfect cottage, because that's what I'd like to do this summer. Take my yeah. kids up yeah. for a week, rent a cottage. Well, the, one of the problems of cottage, of course, is so much to do up there. Yeah. And, and when you open a cottage for the first time, and you go and you want to see how many mice are lying on your floor in a state of Any suspended animation. Any families inside, like raccoons yes. and birds. Yes, or and... even families of human beings that have set up <laughs> camp there, you know. This is my house now, what you doing here? That kind of thing, you have to watch out for that. But it's a uh, cottage but life is It's wonderful. a respite, though. That's what I, right? I mean, it's, it's somewhere just... to go, it's peaceful, hang your hair After down. the pressures of my hectic show business life, yes, I like to sit by the lake and just... Uh, just... Hear the loons? Hear the Watch loons. the sun go down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds good. That's what I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> okay, well, stay with us. We will be back with Bonnie Stern and uh, a favorite dish of mine. Sometimes making it through your busy day can be harder than you think. So occasionally you find yourself not eating properly, like skipping a meal. Which is why there's Nutribar Meal Replacement. Enriched with vitamins and mineral nutrients, Nutribar is convenient and lets you enjoy the nutrition of a meal when you just don't have the time. Sometimes your busy day gets to you, so get to it first and reach for the goodness of a Nutribar. Nutribar, good for you. What a difference. I didn't know you were a decorator. I'm not. I got help from Decorating Den. A professional decorator? This must have cost you a fortune. No, she actually showed me how to work magic on a budget. Really? And she came here in her color van and brought thousands of samples of window treatments, wall coverings, carpeting furniture, and accessories. You've got to introduce me to your decorator. No problem. For a complimentary consultation, call 1-800-228-4211. Dad wanted his funeral to be simple. No fuss, no bother. To be honest, I don't know that I could have handled all the fuss either. But I couldn't just let him go. The Trust 100 funeral director from my civic group answered all our questions and helped us arrange exactly what we wanted. <laughs> we felt like we were part of his family. Trust 100, with a full range of services to meet every family's needs. Trust 100, their family. 
African Lion Safari brings you face to face with nature at its wildest. So close you'll feel part of their world. Answer the call of the wild. African Lion Safari. Now open on Highway 8 between Hamilton and Cambridge. Hi, I'm Pat Sajak. And I'm Vanna White. When Toronto wants the wheel, Toronto turns to CFTO TV. Pat and I invite you to join in the fun on Wheel of Fortune. Join us weeknights at 7, right here on CFTO TV. A hypothesis is a hunch not validated by fact. Take the space cadet theory. One rides the TTC because A, you have to ride it, B, you can't afford not to ride it, or C, you're a schlep. Truth is, almost 400 million rode the TTC last year because it was a convenient, reliable way from A to B. Hard to believe? Ask some of our regular schleps. To work to the ROM to the movies, there's always a time when it is the better way. Ride the rocket. Cooking with Bonnie Stern is brought to you by Frigid Air, built for generations. Well, today, Bonnie, you're using one of my favorite ingredients, shrimp, in your recipe. It, well, shrimps are delicious, and this I recipe is a delicious recipe. But actually, for people, you know, a lot of people are allergic to shrimps, too. So in this recipe, which is going to be a shrimp in coconut milk and lemongrass, which is really delicious, mm. you could use chicken. So if you were allergic to shrimp, or they're expensive, too, you could definitely use chicken breasts and cut them up or diced chicken meat, and it would be great. Mm. And we're going to serve it over some rice. Now, it's a very easy recipe, and I'm using a wok just because it's very easy to stir fry in a wok and it's sort of fun and if you have one use it if you don't have one you can just use a uh, frying pan and I'm using just a little bit of oil in the bottom of the wok it's about a tablespoon or two of oil and I'm vegetable using oil. an unflavored vegetable oil mm -hmm. so lots of times I'll um, cook things in olive oil but when I don't want an olive taste because olive oil is one of the oils that are flavored and usually peanut oil corn oil safflower oil doesn't have a flavor so that's what I'm using today because I don't want the olive oil to interfere and I've got this nice and hot, and what I have here is some garlic that I'm going to add to the um, Lots add to the of oil. garlic. Lots of, a couple of cloves of garlic. Okay. And then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of fresh ginger root. And ginger root is just so refreshing, and it has such a nice, clean taste. That, um, mm -hmm. And you just peel it and chop it up to use it. And it's available all over now. So, you know, there's no problem getting these ingredients. And I'm going to put in the lemongrass. And this is what I want to talk to you about. But I'll t come back to that in just a second. And I'm putting in three green onions. And the green onions will kind of calm down the heat a little bit so I don't have to worry about things burning here. And I'm going to add... Um, some hot chilies and this is a jalapeno chili or you can use one of those tiny little really hot Thai chilies it just depends on how hot you like things so I'm gonna let this cook just for a minute until tell me when you can smell it and that's when I'll add the shrimps ah, okay. okay so it should get nice and aromatic because all the oil is releasing the flavors from all these flavoring vegetables so this is what lemongrass looks like Wait, now where does it come from? It comes from, well, it's used a lot in Oriental cooking, and it's used tremendously in Thai and Laotian and all those uh, cuisines, Vietnamese cuisine, and it has a wonderful fragrance. Oh, the chili is starting to mm -hmm. really can, release oh, its flavor boy, into the it. oil, yes. and it's doing something to mm. me. So I'm going to add these shrimps, and we'll come back and talk about the lemongrass in a second. Okay, so these shrimps, I have peeled them and taken out their little intestinal tract, which some people call a vein, because I think that if you called it the intestinal tract, nobody would eat shrimp. <laughs> That's so finicky, you know. the shrimp. Is there anything that you can use to do that, or do you just do I, it by hand? Well, you take, I should have brought a shrimp, I'll do this the next time, but you just take the shell off with your hands and then you use a little knife just to go on the well, top the of the I shrimp and pull it out. Yeah. And that's the easiest way. I mean, you can buy all kinds of fancy gadgets, but they aren't worth the money because a little knife is the fastest. So I'm just gonna let this, um, just you can see the shrimps are starting mm -hmm. to color a little Those bit. Those are nice and juicy. They are really nice shrimps. shrimps. <laughs> and I'm gonna put in a half a cup of coconut milk. And the coconut milk you can buy in a tin and it's really very good quality. The only thing is, if your recipe calls for half a cup, as this one does, you want to freeze the rest of it because it is very perishable and you don't want to have it just in your fridge for too long. And I like this brand, which I can't pronounce, so I'll spell it. C-H-A-O-K-O-H. -O -O and it is a, a great brand of coconut milk. It just seems to be sweeter and nicer than some of the other ones. Now, you can also buy coconut cream, which is sweetened, and that's used for, what's that drink with the pineapple juice and the coconut oh. cream and um, pina coladas. Yeah, pina uh -huh, coladas. Uh -huh. And you can get that everywhere, but it is really sweet. 
So if I only could find that, I would dilute it with some water so that you know, it wouldn't have too sweet a taste. But this is going to have a wonderful taste. So these shrimps aren't quite cooked because I can tell that the shrimps should be completely um, opaque. And mm -hmm. I can see that these are still a little translucent. Right. So they don't take a long time to cook, but you have to watch them. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit, and we're going to come back to our lemongrass. Okay. So when the lemongrass is just like this, and you smell it, you can't really smell that much of a lemon smell or not anything really, like that no. to it. But then when you open it up and you really sort of start cutting it, I mean, not with your fingers, but with a knife on a cutting board, and then you smell it, mm. it smells so oh, wow. fragrant and incredible. Mm -hmm. And this lemongrass is a really nice soft one, so I can just chop this up. But if it's really hard and dried all the way through, mm -hmm. soak it in some water first, wa hot water for about 10 minutes, and it'll soften it, and then you'll be able to chop it. Is that considered okay, a vegetable? For a long time. I th uh, that's a good question. I think it would be considered an herb. Mm. And then are herbs considered vegetables? I'll look that up mm. and I'll come back <laughs> and let you know. I don't like to um, guess too many times. Anyway, this is looking beautiful. And if you okay. want to spoon that rice into this pretty dish for me. Okay, and so okay. I've got some hot um, Thai scented rice for this. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt in. And I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in, even though it's got that hot chili pepper in there. I like the taste of black pepper. And then I'm going to spoon this over the top here. And then you're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of fresh cilantro. Oh, and you can delicious. see it only takes about five minutes, minutes yeah. really. And it's Great. so good. Use the cilantro okay. on it. And I want you to taste it, too. Isn't that good? Oh, Doesn't that look that pretty? looks beautiful. And you could serve it with some nice fresh vegetables. Right now, you know, asparagus would be great. Mm -hmm. It would be just That's delicious. That. Oh, that isn't looks that perfect. Nice. That looks good enough for us to eat right <laughs> now. And I'm going to get out the forks All right, and we some go. plates, and we're going to have some. What do you think? Okay. Good. Oh, okay. good to me. All right. I'm going to spoon some for you. Okay. Mm. There we go. Boy, from the stove to the plate to our right. mouth in right seconds. Away. In seconds. <laughs> now that's a quick dinner, don't you think? And I'll what say. you would do is you would put the rice on to cook before you started cleaning the shrimps and everything. And you can mm. buy the shrimps already cleaned. Is it good? Delicious. Does it need more salt? Does no. it need more coriander? No. Does it, it need more anything? Perfect. It's just it perfect? Is perfect. That's what I like to hear. That's my favorite Fabulous. word. Thank perfect. you so much, Bonnie, for coming in. Thank you. <laughs> Bonnie Stern. <laughs> Cooking with Bonnie Stern has been brought to you by Frigidaire, built for generations. Hurry up! Hurry up! I can't, I'm cleaning the bath thoroughly with this cream. We use new Spick and Span bathroom now. It's thick and it's easier than a cream. Allow me to demonstrate. Of course, a demonstration. Spick and Span bathroom clings to dirt. Clings to dirt. So it starts lifting the dirt off straight away. Oh, really? One wipe. And it's clean. How do you do that? It's easy when you know how. New Spick and Span bathroom. Cleans as it clings. Also available in a foaming spray. Yeah, I would say I was a natural clown all my life. The costume brings the clown to life. I want them to see a clean clown. Cake, punch, pudding. It's on me, it's on them. I've ruined costumes. It's, it took me a quite a while to figure out what worked. Tied with Bleach works on your white and colorful clothes. Regular detergents leave in what Tied with Bleach gets out. Whites have to pop. They make the colors pop. If it's gotta be clean, it's gotta be Tied. If I can't get it clean, it's not funny. <laughs> I used to eat when I was bored, busy, sad, happy, lonely. Unless I was on a diet, then I starved. Finally, I called Nutrisystem and found a whole new me. Now, I fight when I'm angry, cry when I'm sad, and eat when I'm hungry. What a relief. Call Nutrisystem now and lose all the weight you want for only a dollar a pound. See your white pages for the center nearest you. a sandwich to life like the tangy zip of Miracle Whip. Absolutely nothing. Last year, thousands of Canadians were hospitalized after mixing medications. It's why at Shoppers Drug Mart, when we created our computerized health watch system, we weren't thinking about technical things like bites. 
we were thinking about Canadians, like Betsy, and how a Health Watch file of Betsy's medication history could help her pharmacist prevent adverse reactions and even save her life. Register for the Health Watch system, only at Shoppers Drug Mart. Yes, whoopee! Well, I'm sitting among the grades three and four students. Some of them are from the St. Barbara School. Miss Duckworth, the teacher, is sitting right over there. Let's hear it from Miss Duckworth. Yeah! yeah! Yo! We have fun. Which are you in grade three or four? Four. Four. Okay, fine. We're mature, but he's in grade four, but maybe in grade five next year. Okay. Looking ahead to next week in the giveaway department, we'll be drawing names for tickets to the concert by international singing sensation Rock Voisin, who's at Massey Hall later this month. And all next week, our studio audience will be filling out ballots for the Art Fest 94 Getaway to Port Perry, May 7th and 8th. This includes one night's accommodations at uh, Ann, Ann's Bed and Breakfast, tickets to the dinner auction, launch, uh, lunch at Murray House, and more. All just in time for Mother's Day. It's terrific, trust me. Now for our viewing audience, next week is the Showboat Giveaway. Three pairs of tickets every day, Monday to Thursday, to see a wonderful show, Showboat. And on Friday, the grand prize draw for a luxury steamboat trip for two aboard the Mississippi Queen. Unbelievable. Call now to book your seat. The number is 416-299-2259. Remember, we need your complete phone number, including area code, and one if it's long distance. Mary, over to you. Thanks, Robin. Our next guest started drawing at the age of four, and it was at that time that he also developed a love of comic books. He combined the two to become a professional comic book artist. These days, he draws for as many as ten comic book publishers, and he draws anyone from Vampirella to the X-Men pinups. Please welcome Lewis Small, Jr. Hi, Lewis. Thanks, Thanks for thank coming you. in. Now, I, I understand. Come on over here. Okay. <laughs> Come on over this way. I understand you're going to be part of the largest comic book convention that's taking place this weekend at the Queen Elizabeth Building. Yes, that's where I'll be this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. What's from, going on? What kind of a convention uh, is it? Just a comic book convention, Canada's or Toronto's largest uh, comic book convention, and uh, we'll have uh, a so lot of is, people there. This is for collectors, right. uh, so there'll be exchanges of, uh, of possibly old, rare comic books, that kind right, of thing. Right, right, everything. Plus, illustrators like yourself will be there. Right. How many? Uh, Ten or fifteen. Mm -hmm. And there's some right. characters in the background here you can you can just get a glimpse right. of here. <laughs> <Hang> on. <laughs> Hang on. Fred, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Fred Flintstone, right. And yeah. there are great prizes, I understand, at this comic book oh, right. convention. Oh, yeah. right. Uh, first prize would be a trip to uh, California mm -hmm. to... Uh, uh, be that's like a family trip uh -huh. for the person that wins or the people that win, uh -huh. and uh, you get to see the taping of the Power Rangers. Wow, team. that's a hot wow. show, isn't and it? At, mm -hmm. And at Universal Studios as well, right? Right, that's Universal another prize. Studios. And right. then I think the runner-up prizes are breakfast, right, with these right. guys at with Wonderland. These two guys right here. Yeah. <laughs> breakfast yeah. with a yeah. breakfast with a Klingon. Yeah, Something right. I've always wanted to do. You know <laughs> what I mean? Right. Let's uh, let's draw. Yeah. yeah. What, okay. what can we see? Can you show us the tricks of the trades? Yes. Sort of? uh, if the uh, students will draw along, I know they have paper. So okay. Yeah. Get ready. Great. Let me draw. Okay. I I don't know if I can draw with a blue marker. I think I need a black one. Do you have a... <laughs> if not, we'll just <laughs> modify. Well, I'll go over there and start drawing All right. right now. And uh, the kids in, you guys can draw along, right? Okay. okay Hopefully well you can set. start out with something very easy. Oh, good. Right? Uh, <laughs> like a uh, uh, character you might recognize. Uh, start out with these two eyes. Start around the middle of the paper. Try that. Mm -hmm. After that, put in some eyelids. Looks like Garfield, but it isn't. <laughs> it does look like Garfield, <laughs> yeah. And after that, still looks like Garfield, but it's not. It's not? Who is it? Oh, mm. gee, I just mm. made a mess. They'll figure that out. <laughs> I made a mess. Huh? Anyway, sorry. OK, I made a mess. <laughs> Okay, here we are. This might tell you who it is. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. You might know who that is. Someone guessed it. Big I heard Bird. That. No, that's no. close. Oh, I we'll thought see. it was Big Bird, too. Yeah. Watch this. Someone knows who that is, don't they? No, it's Ren. Oh, Watch this. Yeah. Wow. All right. I messed up my eyeball here. So. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since Mr. Dress Up. This is, this this is work. Really, this this is is I think I'm better at tracing. Watch this. Anyway. 
Oh. <laughs> Tracy. What the heck is this thing? You'll see. Okay. <laughs> Do you kids know this That's character? the fun. Yeah. I still don't yeah. know who Ben is. <laughs> can you see? That's good. You can do this. Watch. Cartoon is kind of a slow process, isn't it, Lars? Right, it just right. goes right. Unless you know how to it do it very well. On and on. If you know how to do it very well, yeah. then, uh, then you probably do this in 30 seconds. Mm, right. Uh oh. Because I usually draw other characters. Clayton's <laughs> getting bored. We have to. We have to move this along here. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Right. And right. hair. Great. Okay. Well. Shall Is we, it finished? Uh, I'll finish up real quick. Oh, okay. Watch this. Oh, that are. went a bit fast. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Who is that? That's Ren, Ren. a Ren and Stimpy oh. thing. All right, great. Well, yeah. very nice. Okay, should we show our work? Hmm. Well, my, one of my eyeballs got all, all messed right, up here. here. He's, he's sort of, <laughs> mine's sort of squinting. <laughs> Uh, somehow, I don't think we'll make the uh, comic book convention. Not bad. Anyway. We're turning this like an assembly line. <laughs> like an assembly line. Listen, there's there's big bucks in cartooning. Maybe that, well, I should you know change what? the word. You've got to the story. Let's right. Tell us the story of how you started during the Persian Gulf War right. uh, when you were in Saudi Arabia. Right. Just quickly. I, uh, I was there about uh, 10 months right. and uh, very shortly. Uh, after 10 months or during the 10 months time, I decided to be a comic book artist. Right. And From I, the underground newspaper right, that you I were starting. Right, I did an underground newspaper and a friend of mine decided to write and draw it. I was going to draw it, I drew it. Right. And uh, at that time I said, well, I guess I should be a comic artist. And, and he became I got one. He's been history. busy ever since then. A comic artist. So Lewis, right. tell us about it. It's the Metro Convention Center this Saturday and Sunday. It's right. the, uh, at the comic Elizabeth book convention. Building. Right, comic book convention. Great prizes, right. trip to uh, California to right. meet, uh, have lunch with various right. Klingons. Right, and have lunch with the Klingons. <laughs> <laughs> well, we Perfect. thank you for coming down. We're all we're all cartoonists Very around here. Thanks, Thanks, Louis. Thank Great. You. Yeah. Well, have you ever noticed how glasses can completely change your image? With the latest eyewear styles and technology, here's Alicia Kay. Perhaps the fastest and easiest way to alter your look is by simply changing your eyewear. <laughs> Within seconds, an individual can go from highly intellectual to seriously cool. Bob Career, owner of Toronto's Career and First Canadian Optical, believes that these days, glasses are much more than just corrective lenses. To me, glasses are very important. Like, first thing anybody sees is the face on glasses. Um, you know, you could have a very exclusive suit uh, or a nice dress and put an ugly pair of glasses that ruins the whole look. To me, it's very important to have a you know, fashionable pair of glasses or, or the right pair of glasses that suits your face. Career travels to Europe three times a year to look for the hottest new trends and the latest technology. If it's good enough to build a plane, just imagine what it can do for a pair of glasses. Titanium is one of the toughest, lightest, non-corrosive metals on the market, and it's used to manufacture a large percentage of today's frames. Engineered through the collaboration of Danish architects and opticians, the Air Titanium line sets a new standard for elegance and practicality. The foundation of this innovative design is based on a series of interchangeable frame components, which come in a multitude of shapes, size, and color combinations. For those who like to make a strong statement, Cecil from Germany is a good choice. The bold geometric frames are hand-painted and custom-colored. Lenses for the Theo line by Belgian designer Patrick Summers are cut by laser, giving them an art deco-ish look, which is sure to stand out in a crowd. The Career line is an exclusive collection designed personally by owner Bob Career. Clean, simple lines are the essence of his creations, which are based on feedback from consumers. And Bata from Los Angeles is an extensive collection of stylish and durable frames designed by Alex Vance. The latest Canadian and European eyewear styles from Toronto's Career and First Canadian Optical. Now, Mary, I was so excited about drawing that I got the, the place where the largest comic book convention is going to take place wrong. In fact, it's at the Queen Elizabeth Building Exhibition Place uh, this Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, Klingon, I apologize for the error. We humans are very limited, as you know. <laughs>
Well, busy, busy day on tomorrow's show. We've got the music of the Sidemen. Yes, we have. We also have Lori Crossan, who is going to be with us, and much other great stuff on the show. So you got to tune in. Terrific. We're all going to be right here. No playing on. That's so. right. Sorry come back. That. Come back. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Michael sees a shady opportunity to boost his career. Melrose Place tonight at 9. Then at 10, Glenn has to choose between Jeannie and Maybeth. When at Corrode tonight on CFTO TV. Coming up next at noon on your number one.